Hey guys and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustling TV. Today I will be doing another start to finish um, install using uh, doing basically a lace frontal over locks. Now the first video I released was someone with uh, shorter locks but you guys did request someone with longer dreads so I am doing that video for you today. Now the, uh, the beginning of the installation is pretty much the same. I am going to underbraid um, the locks and I'm going to do about maybe five to six under braids and I'm going to secure the ends of those uh, under braids with a rubber band and then once I break everything down I will show you how I sew all the um the hanging pieces the hanging pieces of hair all to down together so um I can put on the stocking cap So now that I am pretty much done braiding all of the uh, locks back, I'm just trying to figure out which way I'm going to sew them down. That way it is still flat enough to uh, do a flat uh, lace frontal install. So now that I see how I'm going to sew it, I'm just going to go ahead and take that needle and thread and begin to sew down uh, those dreads. Um, some will go up, some will go sideways. I will sew some underneath, just whatever works to make um, the locks very uh, flat. That way, like I mentioned, I will be able to do a flat lace frontal install.
Now that I am done uh, sewing everything down, I'm just gonna go in with my 99% alcohol and just clean that uh, forehead and that um, hairline. Um, at least, I'm just gonna go back and forth a few times. I just like to make sure I get all of that dirt and oil um, out of the scalp, and then I'm gonna proceed to the next step of actually um, applying the stocking cap. Now she will be doing a quick weave, so I will use two stocking caps. And just to go ahead and answer your questions, um, a lot of people make comments like, is she's gonna have um, bonding glue on her locks when she take it out? No, she is not. I repeat this so many times, but I'm gonna say it again. I am not glue heavy. So glue being in her hair is never an issue. This is actually my god sister, and we've been doing installs over her locks for years now and it's never been an issue so no the glue is not going to get on her hair no it's not going to snatch any locks out or anything like that it's pretty much the same process as if she had just regular natural hair and i braided her down and um you know did a quick weave installation on her so no that's not going to happen everything will be be okay she will remove her cap with no issue and um yeah continue to go on with her you know her regular degler lock wearing day but however um once you clean that hairline what i am using to lay down her edges is actually uh the bio silk hairstyling spray and i like to do the alcohol method first like usually most people put on the caps and then alcohol right before they lay the glue but what i like to do is just go ahead and do the alcohol first and that way the skin is already clean and i can just do the whole cap process and everything like that and just go ahead and start laying down the wig and it still sticks just as well because the skin was already clean so you can either clean the skin before you do the whole cap method or after it's just really your preference but i just prefer to do it before now um if you notice i took that first stocking cap and i put it like halfway on her head because um you know to cover up the locks and plus it's going to be a quick weave and the front is going to take up all that space she really won't have any bonding glue at like the front half of her head so that's why i did not bring that underneath cap the underneath cap all the way but however i am going to sew that cap down you know around the edge pretty much just to make sure her locks stay underneath that stocking cap and she's able to you know comb her hair and do whatever she has to without the worry of her locks slipping out underneath it um, another thing I like to do is go ahead and cut the ear flaps around the cap and that just helped the cap lay down a little bit better once you are doing your whole cap molding process and I would just pretty much go back in with that um, bio silk hairstyling spray once again for the cap molding process and just ignore all her little jumps and stuff like that like my sister is really really dramatic and she don't like needle and thread and sprays and all of that but it is her birthday weekend and we will actually be um going to puerto rico like tomorrow morning um as me speaking of me releasing this video tonight it being well now it's thursday clearly but yeah we will actually be going to puerto rico in the morning so i'm going to be on vac vacation and blogging that with you guys to let you know about my whole experience but nevertheless uh back to this installation so yeah i'm just going to continue to mold that cap down with that bio silk and uh once everything is dry and hard i'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and you know just cut off that extra cap and then take my ruby kisses foundation and apply that foundation all in the front of her lace frontal.
Now I will be tinting her lace frontal using the color bronze. Um, I'm just going to spray that all over the back side and all over the front side. And the concealer that I use, I mean the lace tint that I'm using is a True Match Lace Conceal. That is their Instagram name. Um, and you can just go ahead and look them up and purchase their lace tint. They have four different shades, but for her skin tone, I am using the bronze shade. So I just went ahead and uh, applied that layer on there and I'm just going to blow dry, you know, just a little bit before I actually apply it to her head. Now what I like to do is just pretty much look at the frontal, you know, line it up with their hairline. And then once I have it where I want it, I have them hold it down and I just go ahead and sew um, the back of the frontal down, which is like the normal process. Also, um, I usually do quick weaves for her, but we have also done sew-ins with her hair, so she does get sew-ins as well if she want to keep it in longer. And I still pretty much do like the same uh, braid down method, and I'm just actually sewing onto the cap, you know, all of the bundles and everything like that. She has worn uh, straight hair, and it was still very flat, so whether it's straight or curly, it will all work. But um, just let's talk a little bit about this hair. Uh, this hair is from my company, and I'll, I will have my uh, website listed down below. She is doing uh, four bundles, uh, four 30-inch bundles of my uh, Spanish wave pattern. So um, if you want to get this pattern, um, just go ahead and shop with me on my link. The link will be listed down below, and that's www.ibhslice.com. Like I mentioned, it will be listed down below. And she is using... Um, four bundles of 30 inch and a I believe 20 inch frontal so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and um, begin the bonding in process and I really you know she really wanted to get all four of those bundles in um the actual girl who I did with the shorter locks is her best friend so yeah they're like doing the whole lock thing together or whatever but um yeah they both wanted like we're all going to Puerto Rico, guys. Let me just put that out there. But um, we all, um, they both wanted, like, full hair. So for my sister as well, I will be using four bundles to make it really, really full. And because, you know, when hair is longer, it does come slightly thinner. So you do want to get um, more bundles the longer the length of the hair you choose to purchase. But, however, I am just doing the same thing. I'm just going in that circular motion and I am doubling the tracks all the way up to the top, trying to keep them as close as possible so we can fit all that hair in. And I will go ahead and just bond this all the way to the top. I'm not going to show the whole entire process because it's just repetition over and over. You just want to measure from one side to the other. And I am using a 30 second Salon Pro bonding glue. And I just squeeze a little bit of that glue and I just drag it across the track. So like I mentioned, it will not be like a ton of glue in her hair or anything like that. But I pretty much showed you what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to go ahead and just flip this over. And we are on bundle number four. So we actually got all of the hair in. And I'm just bonding in the last few pieces before I actually begin to um, lay down her lace frontal.
So I will be using uh, four bundles. I mean, not sorry guys, not four bundles, but I will be using four layers of that Bold Hold Active. And I'm just taking that uh, lace glue, applying it right at the line of the cap. And I actually went and purchased me some um, popsicle sticks and we'll be spreading out her glue using those popsicle sticks i got these actually from my hair store this is what i usually use but i just was being lazy and didn't feel like buying anymore and just use my rat tail comb but i am going to use the popsicle sticks today and just spread that glue out nice and flat the key is just to spread the glue out that way it can dry clear and quickly and you can apply as many layers as needed but once that glue does turn completely clear it is now safe for you to go ahead and pull uh, that lace down into that glue. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to take my blow dryer and blow dry that lace right on down. That way um, we can get her all melted. Now, when it comes to the actual melting process, I do use warm to hot uh, temperature and I blow dry um, that glue into that lace. And I like to just use my comb and comb that hair down into that glue, combing the hair backwards, combing the hair downwards so it can melt in both directions. And I just pretty much do this from one side to the other until I feel like I have dried it uh, long enough and I see that it's melting really into that lace. And then I will go ahead and begin to cut off that extra lace and tack down any, you know, pieces of lace that is still lifting. And then I will get into the second step of my melting process.
Now that everything is tacked down, I'm just going to go ahead and finish parting off the area that will be for uh, the baby hairs. And I will go on with the second step of my melting process, as I mentioned before. And I'm just going to take that bio silk and spray it across the hairline. I usually do this with the bed head, but I actually ran out. And I did say once I ran out of the bed head, I will see if this method works with the bio silk as well. And the bio silk, of course, works just as great. Uh, these are my two favorite uh, hairstyling products. I completely love these over the got to be any day. Like these are my go-to. So I have to definitely restock um, on these two products. But as I mentioned, I will go ahead and spray that bio stick across that hairline and then tie it down using my beautiful Hustler Melt Belt. And yeah, get to the second, you know, or third step, whatever step we on, we're just gonna get to the slay period. But for as far as styling today, um, she did not want an actual part. So we just kind of did like a, all the hair to one side type of thing and just with some baby hairs from left to right just in case she did decide um you know she want to throw it up in a bun or anything like that like we just went ahead and baby haired her down to the ground okay y'all and you know like i mentioned just had all the hair flowing to one side and i did go ahead and wet that hair with that water and conditioner and um you know pretty much comb it out so um it's actually easier when we get to doing the actual baby hairs but as y'all can see when we remove that beautiful hustler melt belt which is sold out but it will restock uh it will be in stock once i come back from vacation um and for the orders who was placed after being sold out they will ship out asap so guys just bear with me um if you want to purchase a melt belt use that same link um www.ibhslays.com and go to my beautiful hustle brand tab on my website and you can purchase um anything from my brand on there is for you know even like the virgin hair and everything like that like whatever you need is there you guys can go ahead and make your purchase but now that we have this um we have removed the melt belt. I'm just going to go ahead. Well, I went ahead and just combed out all that hairstyling spray because it does get, you know, pretty much hard. Um, and I usually, I used to do this step with the mousse, but a lot of people, and even what I noticed on myself doing my own hair, when you apply that mousse, it does cause the lace to lift. But when I do this method with the hairstyling break, uh, the hairstyling spray, it does not um, lift at all. Actually, like it actually gives it an even better hold. So I really want to choose what works best in my opinion. So that's what I do to friends, family, and clients. So um, now that we have combed all that out, I did go in with that wax stick and apply that wax stick all over the front of her hairline because, as I mentioned in many videos before. Whether the hair was straight or curly, I do hot comb those roots out to make the style like extra, extra, extra neat. So I am going to hot comb those roots out, even though she's not getting a part. And, you know, go in with the process of doing the baby hairs and, you know, getting everything all to the side and everything like that.
So now that I'm done hot combing, I am just gonna take my scissors and just chop those uh, um, hairs down really, really short. And I will begin to do her baby hairs before I do the finishing touches on her style. Now, I usually use that got to be gel for the baby hairs, but today I am gonna use my She Is Bomb um, collection slick and slate all in one hair gel. And this is a new product that I've been using and I really, really love it. Um, um, I don't have anything bad to say about the got to be gel like I still love that gel I'm gonna always love that gel but I just wanted to show you guys you know different ways to do things using different products so I am going to use like I mentioned that slick and slay hair gel and I just like to take my edge brush and just dip it in that gel and just put the gel on the back of my hand pretty much the same way I do with the got to be I just work better that way so I don't know maybe I'm weird but as you will see, I always put the glue on the back of my hand or the gel. It's just, you know, just more convenient for me. But nevertheless, I am just going to start to suit the baby hairs and smooth everything in. And what I like different about this gel um, versus the got to be, it does dry a little bit faster. So, but I still do go, you know, go in and use my blow dryer to like blow dry everything on in to make sure like it's not going to move and it's going to be laid for a little bit. But it does, as I mentioned, dry way faster than I got to be gel as you're doing the baby hair. So that is one great benefit of this hair gel. So now that we have reached the other side, I'm just going to do like the last final little uh, baby hair swoops for this side. And then I'm just going to go ahead, blow dry everything down, use my bio silk to um, mold whatever I feel needs to be molded. So it still is, you know, lays nice and neat. And like I said, we're going on vacation, so we have to make sure that we are laid while in Puerto Rico, honey, because we're going to be doing a lot of fun activities so that's another reason why I like to use um another reason why I went in with that bio silk and made sure that everything was like sleek and slayed so I'm just blow drying everything down make sure nothing moves or messes up and then I go back in with that uh, bio silk and do like my last finishing touches spraying combing things over wetting the hair and everything like that just smoothing everything down into place keeping it as neat as possible and then just stay tuned guys for the finishing look and let me uh, know what you think like can you tell she has dress underneath of course she can because I know what I'm doing guys just trust me <laughs> and if you haven't done so already just go ahead and subscribe to my channel 
Um, I actually have a lot of videos like like unlisted that I'm ready to release. I'm just, you know, waiting on people to email me back and stuff like that. You know, business stuff. But I do have many tutorials I'm ready to release. They're already ready to go. I just have to make them public. So make sure you do subscribe and turn on your bells because you do not want to miss any of the new videos that I am posting. Also, uh, please leave down any requests. I do like pretty much respond to my requested videos like ASAP. So um, if it's anything specifically you want to see me do again or, you know, um, show you, just go ahead and comment that down below. But this is pretty much the finishing look. As I mentioned, she did not want to part. She just wanted all of the hair to pretty much just fall to the side. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. Till next time. Baby hairs on fleek. Yes, ma'am.